Hi everybody, it's Babaloo and today I'm doing something that I don't normally do, but it's something I really wanted to do and I'm a couple days late on it, but I apologize for that. But we got a new trailer for Pokemon Sun and Moon and there's stuff that was in it and so I basically am going to watch the trailer. This isn't exactly a trailer reaction because I've already watched it a few times. It's more of a discussion, discussion rather, um, and you know, analysis, that sort of thing. So I want to talk about my thoughts, my theories, what other people are talking about, that whole thing. And so let's just jump into it. And yeah, so as we're watching this, I'll probably pause it from time to time so I can talk. And I'm so excited for this game. You have no idea. Why are you running so slow? Okay, so our first... So first in this trailer, they give us the two legendaries. So this is Sal... Solgal Solgalio. Sorry, so Solgalio, I've heard people call him Soljaleo, Soljaleo, that sort of thing, but he's the sun Pokemon, he's a lion, so Solgalio makes sense to me. He is Psychic Steel. Now, a lot of people, including myself, thought he was going to be Fire type, but I'm okay with that, and I'll tell you why a bit later, because I have a theory about this whole thing. Uh, so he is the sun Pokemon, Psychic Steel, and his ability is Full Metal Body, which is essentially like Clear Body, but... Uh, they're probably going to add some more stuff with that because they, it would just be dumb if they just took an already existing ability, gave it to a legendary, and just gave it a different name. So, anyways, uh, yeah, let's keep going. So the, here's him in battle. Intimidate does not affect him because of his full metal body, like clear body. And then he's going to unleash his signature move, which is... Sun Steel Strike, and I'm assuming based on the name it's going to be Steel Type, but who knows? Oh, good, good. I didn't want to say anything more, anyways. Let's just skip back. Okay. I'm really sorry this is running really bad. Okay, so our next legendary is Lunala. I'll let her thing get all loaded up okay let's there we go so Lunala is the moon Pokemon and see she is psychic ghost okay and her ability is shadow shield which again is essentially multi-scale where if her if her health is at full she takes less damage but again there'll probably be something different to it uh, so first off uh, oh, and her signature move, I guess, I might as well show that. Uh, so she's Psychic Ghost. She looks pretty damn cool, I gotta admit. I also just noticed my audio is messed up on this as well. This is going very well. Okay, so she goes up and her signature move is buffering. Oh good, it didn't show it, that's what I wanted. Signature move is Moongeist Beam, and again, based on the name, I'm gonna say it's it's uh, ghost type, it's attacks the Gengar, it's super effective, so it could be either ghost or psychic. Um, okay, so first of all, the legendaries. Uh, so initially, just looking at, like when we first saw them, we basically just saw pictures of them. Based on that, I like Solgale Solgaleo better just because of the way they look. Now that we know their typing and their abilities, Lunala, in my opinion, is way better. First of all, she has a type advantage on him because go super effective against Psychic, so there you go. And if you look at their their abilities, essentially it's clear body versus multi-scale. Multi-scale is way better. So there's that as well. Uh, now my, f my here's, here's where my theory comes in. So. People thought Solgaleo was going to be fire type, but he's not. He is steel psychic, so he's essentially weak to fire. And people thought since Lunala was the moon Pokemon, she should be part dark, but she's not. She's psychic ghost, which is essentially um, weak to dark. So my theory is, as we all know, there's always a third legendary. What if this third legendary is a fire dark type? So it's super effective against both Solgaleo and Lunala. Uh, it, 
I think like you know the theory is that it'll be like an eclipse Pokemon because you combine the Sun and the moon and I'm gonna get real sciencey on you guys when the from our perspective on earth when the moon is in front of the Sun that's when you get an eclipse so it involves the Sun and the moon so the Sun fire moon dark fire dark eclipse Pokemon see where I'm coming at and then yeah it would be able to beat those two I kind of I'm basically thinking of it as like the relationship same relationship as like Groudon, Kyogre, and Rayquaza, where Groudon, Kyogre are opposites, and then Rayquaza comes in and just shuts them down. That's how kind of kind of how I'm thinking about it. So that is my theory on that. But I would love to hear what you guys think. And yeah, so moving on, we now see the area of Alola. So we've got four big islands and then some small islands, and it looks really cool. And I'm really excited for that. It just looks so good. Okay, welcome to the Lola region. Thank you. And you, and you see here, there's a lot. Uh, there's a lot different, lot more different camera angles than in most Pokemon games. Usually, it's you know just top down, and you see that. And of course, skip past what I wanted to show again. Here, so. Here is where these are what our two our two protagonists are going to be. There's the male and the female. And if you look here, it ha you can choose different different skin colors and hair colors and that sort of thing. And people think this is going to be character cu customization. I don't think this is character customization. I think this is just basically choose the one that looks like you, basically. Uh, and on in terms of character customization, I know people want it to come back. Uh, I want to come back as well. However, I do understand why they want it to stick, why they want it to stay in Kalos, because you know Kalos based on France, France a big fashion thing. So you would have the customizations. You can change your outfit because that's fashionable and France, and it all goes together. So if they want to keep it in that, I'm cool with that. I would love to see it come back, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna rage over it or anything like that. Um, so yeah, that is that. And then I think it might be easier for me just to skip rather than that because there's not much video here It's just basically skipping through so yeah, now we're going through the people so we have professor Kukui I hope I'm pronouncing that right uh, I was one of those people that thought that the old guy who threw the pokeballs of the three starters was the professor But apparently not this is professor Kukui again another one of the theories is that they're like Kukui is the professor and then his father is like also a professor but Kukui's the main professor, so they work together, so that's why the old guy was throwing the Pokeballs. Anyways, he's Professor Kukui, and he's very laid back, and yeah, looks pretty awesome. Next, we have Lily. Lily is Kukui's mysterious assistant. Now, apparently she is going to have some role in the story, is what, is what they're saying, so who knows? Who knows what she'll do, so she's going to be Kukui's assistant. And yeah, she's probably going to be the one who's like, here, I'll teach you how to catch Pokemon and all that. And then we have How. I think that's how you're supposed to pronounce it. He's going to be like your friend. So he, yeah, it, your rival friend, however you want to think of it, just like in most of the games. I like in the first two gens, you had a rival, and then pretty much from then on, you just had a friend. So that's what How's going to be. Yes, and apparently he has a sweet tooth as well, and that's funny because sweet tooths are awesome. And the best part ever, the Pokedex is a Rotom. Yeah, yeah, there is a Rotom in your Pokedex. That is the coolest thing ever because Rotom is a ghost that inhabits electrical things. It is so cool. Oh, I love it so much. It's so good. I love this idea so much and he's like gonna talk to you and everything you can talk to him. oh my goodness I cannot believe this this is by far the best news on this whole thing I love it so much Rotom as a pokedex is awesome and there's a new oh yeah that's still Rotom in the pokedex is that it yes there was another new thing about QR codes where you scan a QR code from your friend and then basically you get that pokedex entry of that Pokemon yeah uh, so yeah, available November 28th in your area unless you live in the UK. Sorry. Uh, so I'm so excited for this. So yeah, I just want to make this video just to go over the trailer, tell you guys my thoughts, and I want to hear your guys' thoughts. So put them down in the comments, and I uh, hope to hear from you guys soon. I'll see you on the next one.
Bye.